there. This video will instruct you how to make a simple flower to use on some of your larger um, projects such as the larger freestanding like wall filler flowers or your um, larger letters such as the um, like a 25 inch 30 36 inch standing letter so or, or larger vases so we're going to go ahead and get started we're using two different templates for this flower so it's template one mini flower and then template seven mini flower for the center. So you're gonna cut it according to the instruction document shown at the beginning of the video, or it's also available on my Facebook page in the photo album, 2022 Crafting Happy Hour Instructions. So cut it all according to that document. So with the template one, we're going to flip it over. I have them stacked by size and the bottom two are the same size. So we're just gonna take our scissors and cut into them slightly. And why are we doing this? Because the center is quite large. And we want to be able to roll our petals deeper in towards the center. And you're gonna do this for all the petals. Now, because the rest of them are all different sizes, I need to cut them separately. Now the colors I am using are for a customer order, so it is school colors. Okay, so you can see how it's cut into there. The two size dowel rods we're going to use are the 3 8 and the 5 16 So we're going to take the larger 3 8 Again, I'm going to flip them over so I work with the larger ones first. So these two are the same size, so I'm going to keep them stuck together. Place your dowel rod down in the middle of the petal, thumb on top, index finger underneath that holds it in place. Pinch and roll. Pinch it up and roll. and place it down. Your um, index finger, or you can even use your middle finger, it'll hold it in place, pinch, and roll it along. Now these are larger petals, so again, it's a larger mini flower, but it shows you that you can make larger flowers using our mini flower templates at PhotoFab Paper Flowers. Again, now they're all different sizes, so we need to make sure that we roll these separately. And we're doing the same technique. Finger, thumb on top, index finger underneath holds my dowel rod in place. I pinch it up and I roll it along my index finger. Thumb, index finger, holding it in place, pinch it up and roll it up right along. So once you have that and it's pinched, then you can just let your other hand go. Now I'm gonna to switch to the smaller dowel rod, which is the 5 16 Pinch it up and roll. Hold it in place and then pinch up and roll. Okay, and I get our last one, pinch up and roll. So super fast to make this flower. So that's why it's a great flower to use for your mini, um, the mini flower templates because it cuts all the petals at once because they're all together. And you can do it rather fast and create a bunch of them for those larger projects. So now we're going to take our flower shaping mat, which is a soft foam mat, and our metal ball stylus tools. So they come in a set of four with a different color or size metal ball at the end, of, at each end. So for my very first one, I'm leaving that flat because I'm going to be mounting it to um, an insulation board. So my second one, 
I'm going to roll the center. We're going to add some hot glue. I'm going to look at my X here and I'm going to look at this flower and I'm going to bring it straight down right in between. Okay, I'm going to rotate it so then I have an X again and I'm going largest to smallest. So that's why I keep my pile of petals upside down. Roll the center on your flower shaping mat. It lifts your petals up towards the center. Add some hot glue. Okay, here's your X. Here's my petal. Bring it straight down. So it's best to stand directly over your flowers. I do stand up when I am assembling my flowers. Okay, take your next one. We roll the center with our metal ball stylus tool. Of course, you can do as many layers as you want. I'm doing five just to have a little bit of a bunch of flower or petals to have some bulkiness to it. Bring it down straight in the middle in between the previous layers. I like a full flower so definitely if you want to stop I usually do odd number petals so three I thought was not enough so I did five. And of course you can size your mini flower templates to as large as large as your paper allows. Here's your X. Bring it down right in between. Super pretty. So this is cranberry. It was sold in a pack by itself through by recollections from Michaels. However, they have discontinued it, which I'm sad because I need a lot of it. <laughs> um, but I believe it's also in the shades of red pack. So now because I'm doing school colors, I'm making my center multicolored. And this is template seven mini flower. So we just did a match mashup of templates to create a new flower. So we're going to take our bone folder and I stack the two that are the same size and I'm just going to curl them under. So you just pull and curl a little, just a little. The smaller ones, it won't curl that much. Okay. And then the top, the three that are the larger size, the widths are all the same at 10 and a quarter. I just changed the height of the petals or depending how you cut them on your mat. Stack all three and then curl them as well with your bone folder. Okay, so now all of the centers are curled towards you, so I'm over here, so they're bending towards me. And then what I'm going to do is glue them, so I, because my flower is cranberry, or maroon, and gold, I want my center gold to be more prominent, so I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to do a maroon one, or cranberry. So I'm just going to add a touch of glue and overlap them slightly. Okay, then I'm going to do the exact same thing. So it's just one long center, just, just so I can keep rolling it. Overlap your petals again. So it's about two, two of them I overlapped. And now I'm going to switch to my smaller size, but I'm going to continue to go, go with the gold maroon gold maroon okay 
Okay, now we're gonna go. Ooh, so you can see my center as it snakes around. <laughs> we're going to take our slotted quilling tool and thread that center on. This is always the hardest part for me. Okay. So roll it towards you. I like to pinch it. Roll just a few times. And add some hot glue. Keep rolling towards yourself. Try and keep it lined up at the bottom. Keep adding your hot glue, especially where you glue the two pieces together. So I'm going to pull mine off my slotted quilling tool. Again, try and keep them lined up. So I'm just going to keep adding. And just keep rolling, friends. <laughs> so now it changed to the smaller size, but you're still going to keep it aligned at the bottom. So everything's lined up here. And just add glue periodically just to keep it lined up. That will hold it in place. Okay, we're almost at the end, so just keep rolling. Adding your glue. Okay, so now all we're going to do is fluff it out. So I'm going to separate them. Again, because this is a school colors, I did use two different shades. If you wanted to, you can just do, use a separate color or use all one, rainbow, ombre, whatever you like. So that's where the fun of paper flowers comes in. But this flower was designed for my project needs. <laughs> Once you have it fluffed out to your liking, super cute. We are just going to glue it right in the center. Add a generous amount of hot glue. And glue her right in there and press down. And there's a super simple yet beautiful paper flower and you can see I did do it in the opposite colors as well so this is like a gold goldy yellow see how they'll coordinate together thank you for watching